the newly elected members of the board, especially to our new di independent directors. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our outgoing independent directors for their invaluable and dedicated services to our company all these years. They have been with us as the company grew into one of the most successful companies in the country. On behalf of the SM Prime family, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Let us now hear a few words from Mr. Husselito Sibay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm very thankful to the C family, to the shareholders, and to management and staff for this opportunity to be part of SM Prime's evolution into the Philippines' largest listed company by market cap. There are three milestones I can cite where SM Prime exhibited the hallmarks of a great company. These attributes are strategic thinking and execution, focus on operational efficiencies and excellence, and concern for all our stakeholders. When the SM Group merged all its property businesses under SM Prime eight years ago, it was a major strategic move that propelled SM Prime to be one of the largest and most relevant property developers in Southeast Asia. When SM Prime became the first one trillion peso listed company in the Philippines four years ago, it was a manifestation of its focus on operational excellence and efficiencies. Over the past 13 months of this pandemic, SM Prime was at the forefront of helping its employees, tenants, and communities to cope with surviving the market decline. Many tenants I talked to are thankful that SM Prime has taken the industry leadership with regard to condone rentals, albeit painful for us, e-commerce-based marketing initiatives, and other support and relief efforts. While Ambassador Joey Quisha, Kiki Kilaiko, and myself are exiting SM Prime in a down year, we are very confident that SM Prime is well positioned with, with its outstanding officers and staff, the support of its stakeholders, and its corporate governance practices to rebound back to our usual double-digit annual growth rates. To Darlene Berberade, Itos Cruz, and Governor Saite Tampo, welcome to SM Prime as our new independent directors. Thank you, Mr. Sibayan. May we now hear from our dear Mr. Kilaiko. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In 1994, SM Prime went public, making it possible for investors from small ones like many of us to very large, sophisticated foreign funds to own this truly marvelous company, once dubbed as one of the best listed stocks in Asia. Indeed, I'm very much honored to have been appointed in 2008 as one of its independent directors. Now that I am stepping down as a board member, I wish to thank the C family for this once in a lifetime privilege. I do miss Tatang Henry C. Senior, whose vision and drive transformed what was once a small shoe store into one of the most admired and dominant Philippine conglomerate. No doubt the SM Group has uplifted in a sustainable way the economic status of main, many Filipinos. I wish to thank our chairman, Big Boy C, whose big ideas, seemingly impossible when written in a yellow pad, have become realities. I also wish to thank Hans C, the chairman of the executive committee, who with his sharp engineering mind directed and constructed more than 70 world-class shopping malls and then oversaw their operation. Hans' attention to details is so impressive that he seems to know every nook and cranny in every mall. I also wish to thank our board advisor, Tessie C. Cosson, her relentless drive to succeed and be dominant 
has guided SM Prime and other SM companies to achieve fantastic growth. I also want to thank my fellow director, Herbert C., who, with his deep understanding of retailing and food merchandising, yes, we all know his famous Toron, has probably provided invaluable input, inputs to this company's success, and also to Betty and Harley C. for always supporting our board and sharing their expertise in hotel management, merchandising, and strategic planning. To all my fellow board members, thank you. To Ambassador Joy Quisha, who was personally handpicked by Henry C. Sr. to be the first independent director of SM Prime, for 27 years, you have provided wisdom and guidance to his children in managing this business. And to the management of SM Prime, headed by its president, Jeffrey Lim, I thank you all for your hard work and dedication in making SM Prime the first trillion peso company and truly world class. Thank you to a very appreciative Mr. Kilaiko. Finally, let's hear from our lead independent director, Ambassador Jose Quisha Jr. Hello, shareholders. Good afternoon to all of you. It has been a great honor and invaluable learning experience to have served as independent director of SM Prime Holdings for the past 27 years. I cherish most the deep friendship which I developed with Mr. Henry C. Sr., endearingly called Tatang, who invited me to join the board of SM Prime in 1994 after I had stepped down as Central Bank Governor. His memory will forever be etched in my heart because of his business acumen, incredible work ethic, clarity of vision, simplicity, humility, and compassion for the poor, which inspire beyond words. Tatang's legacy lives on in his children who are decisive leaders, promote value-driven management, and espouse pragmatic, stick to the needing, stay with the business you know philosophy. My fellow shareholders, we have seen the phenomenal growth of SM Prime, which in 1994 had 2.26 billion in revenues, 1 billion in net income, and 15.4 billion in total assets. By 2019, that's a year before the pandemic hit, the company's revenue had grown 51 times larger to an astonishing amount of 116 billion, 38 billion in net income or 38 times, and 667 billion pesos or 43 times in terms of total assets. Today, SM Prime, the second largest company in the Philippine Stock Exchange in terms of market capitalization, being only one of two companies, the other being SM Investments, whose market cap has exceeded 1 trillion pesos. Thanks to the dedication and hard work of its employees, the professionalism and total commitment of management, and the wise counsel and judicious leadership of the board. I am especially privileged to have worked with two other fellow independent directors, Mr. Gregorio, Gregorio Igi Kilaiko and Mr. Joselito Lito Sibayan, as well as other board members whose integrity, dynamism, and commitment are unquestionable. As lead independent director, I can attest to the excellent working relationship between the board members, particularly the independent directors and management. We feel that our views and guidance have been valued and respected by management, and for that, we are truly grateful. 2020 was a devastating year for business and economy, but it also illuminated our organization's true character of genuine concern for employees and all stakeholders whose safety and well-being overrode profit considerations. Then and now, the SM Group generously assist many needy Filipinos and communities. And when we have the head for business, as well as the heart for people, as our, our slogan declares, and I quote, we've got it all for you, unquote. In the years ahead, I'm certain SM Prime's unparalleled growth and profitability will scale even greater heights. 
In particular, I congratulate and sincerely thank Board Chair Henry C. Senior, Henry C. Jr., Excom Chair Hans C., Tessie C. and Betty C., Board Advisors, and the rest of the C family, as well as President Jeffrey Lim, for making me part of this remarkable journey. I also welcome our new independent directors, incoming independent directors, Ms. Darlene Berberade, uh, Governor Saita Tanko, and Mr. Carlitos uh, Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ambassador Quisha, for those kind words. And again, thank you to, the, uh, to our three outgoing independent directors. We now proceed to the appointment of external auditor. The auditor committee pre-screen and process nominations for external auditors and recommends the appointment of SVB as external auditor for 2021. Mr. Secretary, please announce the voting results. Yes, Mr. Chair. Based on the tally of votes, stockholders owning shares representing 96.3% voted in favor of SGB's appointment as external auditor. Thank you. SGB is therefore reappointed as external auditor for the company for 2021. We now proceed with the question and answer portion for today's meeting. All stockholders were allowed to submit questions via email and chat box. Again, we thank you for participating. We will now answer your questions. For those not addressed this afternoon, our investor relations team, as mentioned, 